So we're going to show you how to copy and paste different elements from your different SketchUp files all into one. This is for your Island Hunters contest where we're taking our 30 advanced house, creating an uh, island terrain for it, and then it's all powered by renewable sources of energy. It's also going to have uh, at least one flag that represents you or your parent or guardian or anything that has to do with where you're from on your island. And it's also got to be located on a real body of water. And we have some examples for you posted on Edmodo. So you want to open up all your different files that you have in SketchUp, like your island, maybe your basic house and your advanced house, solar panels, wind turbines, etc. So all these are in separate files. And I'm going to bring them all into this one right here. Uh, so I'm going to get my basic house. This is going to be like a little mini house I'm going to put on a uh, different part of the island. Um, so I'm going to just highlight the whole thing. Right click. Make it a group. And there's a few different ways you can copy and paste things. But the easiest way is to hold control and press the letter C for copy. Go back over to where you want to paste it and click inside uh, that file and then press control V like Victor move your mouse around and then it's dropped it in to your other file you can put it off to the side go over to the other file that you want to get some stuff out of like this one I want my solar panel so I'm going to triple click if that doesn't highlight all of it and it all turns blue then you gotta click and drag your mouse the select tool right click it make it a group same thing control C copy go over to the file you want to paste it in control V like Victor paste it and then go back and now I want to go get this house so I can triple click it and all of it was highlighted so I don't have to click and drag it so now I can right click it make it a group control C go over to the island control V and now I can start playing around with putting uh, these in different arrangements on my island. Uh, if you want to actually put another island over here and connect it with like a dock, you can do that. If you're making something like a dock, I would recommend that you do it off to the side first. Make it a group and then start moving it around. It's a lot easier to do it that way than it is to start making it on an uneven surface. So for right now, I'm just going to put the advanced house up here so I'm going to click it press the move tool click and drag it around uh, if it's too big or too small you can um, make sure it's highlighted and then you can click the scale tool and if you pick on a corner it will make it scale up or scale it down equally uh, if you want to stretch it out just be careful because then it starts to warp uh, things like the doors and the windows so I would definitely uh, pick a corner when you're scaling up or down um, in your model. So you can click on it. Uh, you can also press the move tool or you can press the letter M and you find these little red uh, like plus signs. Uh, you can click on those little things and you can click and orbit or rotate around uh, in your model. Click off to the side. Looks pretty good. Uh, my solar panels, I want to click and move that. So I'm going to click it, press the move tool you can just click the letter M on your keyboard and you can put these anywhere in your model on the island uh, if you want to sink it down a little bit so it doesn't look like it's floating you can move it down and maybe move it over a little bit and again it doesn't have to be perfect but it just gives you a good idea of uh, what you're going for in your model so. That is about it. When you're done, just like you've done with everything else, you're going to take a screenshot using the snipping tool and post it to the palette page via the link on Edmodo. And it'll look something like that.